Up this morning to the unbelievable news. 60 years old, and today Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenitz died. His sudden death was the result of a heart attack. WMR2 News Jeff Hager joins us now from St. Joseph Medical Center, where medics tried to save his life. Jeff? Kelly, Jamie, he was an apparent specimen of health and fitness, yet Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenitz died within an hour of the first signs of trouble from a massive heart attack. He awoke and felt ill about 2 o'clock in the morning, prompting Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenitz to jump into a vehicle with his wife, Jill, and head towards the St. Joseph Medical Center. But he ended up pulling over here at the Chestnut Ridge Volunteer Fire Company just two miles from his home and called 911. A pair of volunteers inside immediately began their efforts to try to save his life. We did every intervention at our disposal. We have certainly the most state-of-the-art equipment that we can offer, and we used every bit of it. We used everything we own in our arsenal uh, to do everything that we could. This is a device. Kamenet's condition quickly took a turn for the worse, and Captain Dan Udemy says the team used an automated CPR device and external defibrillator in an attempt to revive him. At one point, volunteer personnel did manage to restore his pulse, and they administered an IV, to prepare him for advanced life support measures to be provided by career EMS personnel who were en route from the garrison fire station. The ambulance rushed Kamenitz to St. Joe's with his wife riding in the front seat, but he never regained consciousness. Our team continued with the full advanced um, cardiac life support, uh, attempting to further defibrillate him and uh, manage him medically, and very unfortunately were unable to ever restore a heartbeat and pro pronounced him uh, dead right around 3.20 uh, this morning. With nearly a quarter of a century of service to the county behind him and a bid for governor still ahead of him, news of Kamenet's death seemingly came out of nowhere. I was there when uh, the chief of staff was making phone calls to let people know and people were shocked and there were a lot of tears and disbelief when someone who was seemed to be in the peak of health yesterday isn't with you today. Uh, it's just a shocking thing and it's difficult to absorb. And I think that Health officials say while they advise people who think they're having a heart attack to immediately dial 911. In this case, they say there's no guarantee it would have changed Kamenet's faith considering the fact that he had a magni magnificent or massive, I should say, heart attack. The magnitude of this simply too much for him. Reporting live in Towson, Jeff Hager at WMAR 2 News. All right, thank you.